we're back Southwest Florida. And if we're back at a Quality Life Center event, you know our friendly neighborhood chief of police, Chief Doug Baker, is going to be Johnny on the spot. He doesn't miss any positive grassroots event, particularly as they focus on our children. I've been around here a long time. I've seen a lot of police chief, and Chief Baker is ranked right up there as the best police chief we've had in Southwest Florida. First, um, See, I knew I loved you. I knew there was. A amen. Reason. Now I know why. <laughs> hey, Chief, before we get rolling, yeah. the last time we talked on TV, yeah. uh, the, 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 the killing of the uh, five year old kid, yep. uh, tell us where we are on that now. No, I mean, we have uh, charged two individuals uh, for second degree murder. Uh, they're currently in uh, in jail with about a million two bond, um, and we're moving forward on the case. We did have an individual that came forward, uh, provided, uh, in my opinion, uh, the the information that made this case. If we did not have this individual, um, I think those those the, the two suspects or defendants in the case would still be out walking amongst us. But because somebody had the courage uh, to come forward, do the right thing, uh, and that's that's how it made this case. And that's what makes the community bond together and will help the police do their job in reducing crime and getting the type of evidence that you talked about on the television show for conviction. Well, and I, you got to have all those pieces and parts. And when I was doing media, there was a lot of questions of as far as a confidence or trust in the police department. I don't believe that that's what the issue is. What the issue is 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 the public doesn't have the confidence in the in the criminal justice system because we have so many of these individuals that get arrested, go to court, get tried, get sentenced, and they're right back in four or five years. You have individuals that are participating in violent crime, robberies, homicides, drug dealing, drug sale. They're coming back, and and as as a, as, a, as a, there's great concern. I, there's days I don't have confidence in the system, but it's a system that I have to work with. But for us to be successful, not just the police department, but for the community, it takes everybody to participate in that. And we're going to continue to send that message out and work with the community and, and do you know whatever we have to do to enhance those relationships, to work and to, to improve the conditions. That's what we're going to do. How does a quality life center in the heart of our community in the inner city benefit? what you're doing, and send a message to our youth. Well, <clears throat> Muhammad just does a phenomenal job, and so does his staff. And the issue, what it comes down is it tells that kid when he's going or she's going through these programs that they matter and that they can make a difference and that education is at the forefront. Man, that's, that's great, a great foundation for any kid to be successful as he or she moves through elementary, middle, high school, moves on to college, and then comes back and invests his career, her career, in doing something here on a local level. I mean... Everybody should want to be participating in something like that because that's just not good for African-American kids. That's good for white kids and Hispanic, Latino kids or Haitian. That's good for everybody. You need to have those fundamental foundation, education. You matter. You count. And this is what your role is. If, if you're not told that, you're going to go, you're going to drift, and you're going to do things that you're not supposed to. When you walk through the Quality Life Center and observe what's going on, what inspires you? What, what things you notice when you move through? the Quality Life Center over the years? Attitude. I mean, every time I go there, it's the attitude of the students, it's the attitude of the staff, um, it's, it's attitude, uh, it's positive, it's not negative. You know, and, and you could easily, you know, hey, we're, we're in a tougher part of town or maybe, you know, our building isn't as nice as somebody else's building, doesn't matter. It's the attitude of the students, it's the attitude of the staff, they believe in what they're doing, and they're seeing success at what they're doing, and that's why this program has grown over the years. I mean, I was in that when it was the pool hall, that's and right. that goes way back. Tell us about uh, <laughs> your your presence of you and your officers here tonight. What 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 message do you want to send in terms of your you coming out and support? Uh, Fashion to the Future, the annual fundraiser for the Quality Life Center. Well, you, you hit it. We're, we want to support those those programs that are that are positive and making a, a great benefit, a great change in the community. I want to support Mr. Muhammad and his staff. I want to support the children. And I've always said, I said I'm part of the community. Um, I want to participate in the events that the community is. And, and you look at the crowd. Man, this is a diverse crowd. Unbelievable crowd. Everybody mm -hmm. here. Um, and that tells you right there that this is a good program. You know, it's, it's worth investing funds. It's worth investing uh, time and energy into it and support it when, when they ask for it and when they need it. You know, we're going to hold them up. Okay. Final question. Uh, when you leave here, you're going to send over 
uh, Dominique and Brian Fuller, Officers of the Year under your administration. Uh, tell us a little bit about them before they come. Well, they're the community policing officers in Dunbar. They do a phenomenal job. They have a LEO program, which is a mentoring program for youth, and it kind of goes to that a little bit later in, in life, some of the more your high school, your older kids, which I think, you know, they're at more, most at risk sometimes in the event they didn't get that foundation. Um, maybe they don't read well, or maybe they don't, you know, instead of being frustrated and walking away from it and going doing something else, what uh, Aveta and Brian do is motivate them uh, talk with them, discuss with them, show there's other opportunities and other things to encourage them to stay on the right. You, you parents told you the same thing. The high road is always the road less traveled. It's the harder road. The low road is easy. Anybody can do the low road. The high road is tough, and to be successful, you've got to take that high road. And I think that's what Brian and Aveta are, are that's the, the message that they're hammering home, and it's a good message to do that. Okay. You heard it right here from the chief of police, the man at the top. When we come back, we'll be talking to Aveta and Bryant right here on this spot at the Quality of Life Center's 2014 annual fundraiser here at Florida Gulf Coast University, where Lee Pitts Live is a media sponsor, and I'm assuming the Fort Myers Police Department is a sponsor as well. Yeah, we have a table. I know the city of Fort Myers, I have Mr. Mitchell and a couple other staff are, are here as well, uh, city manager. Uh, so, but, and that's constant. I, I mean, we're always, I okay. mean, we're, we, all, we're, we always go to stuff. We'll be right back. Send them. Tell them to see you.